Yeah. Hey there, Artist Caleb here with a fast look at 123 Slaughter Me Street. When you start the game up, you're given this comic book style backstory about a guy named Tim Denson. <laughs> you know, a little take on Jim Henson there. Only this is his cousin or something and he went terribly wrong. He, he tried to make uh, like puppets and stuff, but it all went wrong, I don't know, because he's a psychopath. Or maybe he's just not very good at making stuff, you know, and he later went on to create the animatronics for Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria or something like that. Whatever it may be, the game is themed on a jacked up version of Sesame Street. I was never really afraid of Sesame Street, except for Snuffleupagus. I was terrified of Snuffleupagus. Not much going on in the menu screen. I guess there doesn't really have to be. You can actually set up your video options before you even start the game, so they've got a little separate window for that. It's a little separate thing. Anyway, yeah, just options, um, erase your game, quit, stuff like that. Collect? I don't even, I don't even know what collect really is. But, well, there's collect. Loading screen's pretty cool. You get to see some of the monsters that'll terrify you in the game. But, dog. Gone, it takes a long time to load. Sped it up about 500 times the normal speed right here. Honestly, it's no big deal though. I've never really cared about long loading times. So it's a pretty basic idea. You're let loose in the house and you've got to find a whole bunch of little hidey spots, you know. I guess hiding spot. I should say hiding spot, not not a hidey spot. Hiding spot is what I should have said. <laughs> what is this? They should not be watching that. It'll give them nightmares. It'll certainly give me nightmares. But anyway, you look for hiding spots all over the place. And once you find them, there's this timer. You've got to duck down, and then basically the timer counts down, and your progress counts up. But you can see there in the, the upper right-hand corner there. I think monsters have indigestion really bad. Each level gets harder and harder as you go along. So the difficulty ramps up and each different monster has has its own unique pattern or its its own unique style or, or whatever of, of maiming and killing and <laughs> I don't know, marching around or some are faster, some are slower and, and there's all kinds of different things like that. So it does definitely get very, very interesting. At a certain point, I kind of wondered whether or not I'd even be able to, to go on any further and when they when they get you they jump out and they scare you and it just it'll stop your heart it's definitely a blast to play with a bunch of friends uh, it's great great for live streaming um, so yeah it's a lot of fun you know so when you have finally got enough progress there's this little blue line that shows up and it's a seek line you have to go and you have to seek out this little orb and then once you find the little orb you can actually go and make your way to the exit. However, the blue line doesn't stick around forever. There's a there's a timer on the blue line, so you got to get moving. Here's a little here's a little uh, bit of it right here. I bet he's extremely fast when he sees you. Oh, now we gotta seek. Yeah, this guy's gonna mess you up. Yeah, we're gonna get jacked up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Once you actually find that little orb, because you are a seeker, Harry. I just had to put that in there, of course. We did it. We did it. Okay, now now we got to get to the exit. Yep, you got to get to the exit. <laughs> you got to make your way back to the front door. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's like I'm live streaming with myself or something. I don't know. Oh, day five, here we come! Yeah, yeah! Woo! Did we do it? We did it! Anyhow, that's 123 Slaughter Me Street 2. It's a lot of fun. Jump in, give it a try, see what you think. Do it with some friends, stream it online, you'll have a blast. It's a lot of fun. Alright, well I guess I'll go now. But this has been a lot of fun. And listen, I love you, okay? <laughs>